In this lesson, I'm going to show you some fun things that we can do with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'm going to show you at least three good things that you can do, whether you're a teacher or you're a student. We're going to start with this. Let's play it together in the key of A. And what I want you to do is just improvise your bowing. All right? One, two, ready, go. So you pick your bowing. Pretty cool, huh? Don't worry, at the end of this video, I'm gonna let this run so you can try all these exercises again on your own. And I have a separate backing track that I'll link to. Now, for the second thing that we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some different rhythms. I'm gonna suggest some to you, but then you can come up with some if you want. I'm gonna use different ones from the Suzuki rhythms that I learned growing up, because why couldn't we make up other rhythms? So let's try this one. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Okay, let's try that. And you can improvise your bow if you want or not. After this, I'm going to give you some more good stuff to do. So, ready, go. You can do it with me. It could be long or short. Whatever you want. Maybe some are long and some are short. Right? That's pretty cool, right? Now you can come up with some other rhythms. I'm just going to give you a couple examples. I'll play through and you can come up with your own if you want. So what if we did... Why don't you do that with me? How about this one? Let's see if I can come up with another one. All right, so here's another variation. Here's another one you can do. Um, what if we take those rhythms, but we change the rhythm whenever we want? So it could be like, um, sometimes you could go, right? Something like that. Um, let me just try a little bit, see if I can do it, and then I'm gonna have you do it, all right? Uh, let's see here. Um. All right, I want you to try it. I'm going to let it go one time, and I want you to try it. Then after that, I'm going to share even one more thing at least. Here we go. Ready? You do it. Way to go. Okay, so I'm gonna share one more that you can do. And again, I'm gonna leave the backing track to play afterwards. Now, this one I'm going to do, this is gonna get really fun and really interesting, okay? And basically what we wanna do is we wanna play the note that happens in the melody on every chord, but in between we can do something else. This is kind of tricky. Now, if you want a deeper, course on this you can go to my website christianhouse.com and look under courses and you will find it or just reach out to me but i've got a really great course on this that allows you to map out everything on the paper and it's really cool it's called easy tonal improvisation but what we're going to try to do <clears throat> i'm going to demonstrate it what we're going to try to do is just connect occasionally something before the 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 main note in the melody so for example So we're always 
is finding the melody note. That's the idea. You play the main melody note that happens on the on the beginning of every chord and you just try to occasionally add something. You don't always have to add something. You can just stay with the melody most of the time and just occasionally either change the rhythm or add a different note. Does that make sense? Leave a comment and let me know. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave this backing track for you to play just a little bit. And like I said, there's a totally different dedicated track uh, below, link below, and probably links where you can find more about the courses and other things. Make sure if you're interested to stick around and subscribe to this channel. Are you ready? I'm gonna give you the backing track. You try whichever of those different exercises we just went through and I'll remind you what they are again. Number one was improvise your bow and play the original melody. Number two is come up with a different rhythm for the melody. Number three is change the rhythm on each melody note or whatever you want. And number four is play the skeleton of the melody but do different things in between when and if you want. Okay, so here we go. Here's the backing track. One, two, ready, go. Let's do it one more time. Bravo, bravo. Good job. Great job. Wait to stay through all the way through this end of this video. Hope to see you on another one soon. Till then, happy practicing.